Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Daniel with POV Pool and we're going to play this next match now between Paul Feltman Jr. and Paul Gorenzi. And here's the lag, Paul Feltman Jr. who is a big part of this uh, casino, Casino del Sol. Lagging against Paul on the right-hand side with the yellow, and it looks like, oh yeah, that's right, it's two Pauls, isn't it? Paul versus Paul. And there goes Paul, breaking against Paul. Feltman Jr. playing against uh, Paul with the white and uh, uh, Paul Grancy is using yellow. Grancy. Like a what? Like a British island. Like the British island. Guernsey. I, I, I've never heard of it, the British island. Is it in the British Isles? Okay, why don't you check on that for me? Put Miss Geraldine to work. It is, <laughs> it's in the ocean south the of, of England. South of England. British Isles. Is that where the British Isles are? I don't know. Why don't you look that, that up too? <laughs> Good morning, Todd Minobi. Yeah, I've been awake for too long. No, actually... I slept in till like 11 o'clock today. It's between oh, very nice. London and France. It's, 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 uh, Closer to France. Uh, okay. I guess that means you've never been there. No, I've never been. Never been. I've never even been to France. You know, I wish I could have gone, but. Uh, you know, I guess the options are still open. If you want to go, we can go to France sometime. Oh, I would love to go to Paris. I think I was suited for Paris. I'd like to go to Nice. <clears throat> I hear Nice is very nice. <laughs> Well, uh, Guernsey has to remember to flip his innings here on his chart because he has uh, skipped out on this last one. Nice shot by uh, Feltman. Paul uh, Paul Feltman does a lot of work to keep pool and billiards in business here at the Casino del Sol, and we have, uh, you know, to thank him for being a big supporter of Q Sports and um, making it possible for the Casino del Sol to host these events. 
and uh, we also you know really would like to thank the, the 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 staff here for everything that they do to accommodate us and to keep us happy and keep us refreshed and lively and um, you know this is a lovely resort I keep saying I want to play some golf here though you do yeah I haven't played golf in a while though I'm retired golf golf golfer After that uh, last karting accident in the early 2000s. What a good shot that was. I'm joking about the accident, by the way. Paul Garancy is... Um, a uh, he's a Texas player. He plays out of he's from Dallas, Fort Worth, and he is. Uh, I mean, if you take a look at his bridge, he plays a lot of pocket billiards. John Letzinger is asking me for the uh, the James Richards uh, Mickey Campbell match. Uh, the score is currently 23 to 22, and they're kind of laughing with each other, having a good time. And the kiss. Oh my goodness. The kiss helped Paul out there, didn't it? 23 to 22. It looks like uh, James oh. has a shot where he has to reach. Not too comfortable about that now, is he? Here we go with Paul again. I think he was on a run of three there. Uh, it's three or four. feel like we have a match now uh, this is uh, this is gonna be good this is gonna be good guys
All right, so here's a little information about their flight. Okay. Alan this one that uh, Paul and Paul are in? Correct. They're okay. in flight B. Yeah. Alan Castillo leads their flight with six wins, one loss. Six wins and one loss, okay. Currently. First of all, is there anybody undefeated in this flight? No. Okay. Alan Castillo leads the flight. Oh, good, okay. With six wins and one loss. There's a three way <sighs> tie for second. Uh huh. Each of them with five wins, two losses. And I'm going to guess these two are tied. Yes. I see for second. And Paul Feltman Sr. Paul Feltman Sr. Oh, and uh, Paul Feltman Sr. Um, beat his son. He beat, he Sr. beat Jr. Mm-hmm. Interesting. What about for third place? Well, third place is a little irrelevant on this yeah. on this on this flight. Just curious, though, <laughs> because we don't know who it's going to be after the l the wins and losses here between this three way tie. Correct? Yeah. So you have a three way tie. One of the three of them is going to come in second. One's going to come in third. Yeah. One's going to be just I don't know. Asked out. I just know that this this match is going to is going to heat up. And and, uh, and we have a three-way and part of a this is part of a three-way tie for second right now. So and both of the players have matches have one remaining match after after this one. Wow. So you mean it, it would even be possible for any one of these tied second place players to slip down to fourth place? I suppose so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Paul Guarency still has Tony Ferrara left to play. Tony Ferrara, okay. Okay. Oh All no, right. I'm sorry, Bob Ferrara. Bob Bob uh, uh Tony's uh dad. Yeah, okay. correct. Uh he still has Bob Ferrara to play. And surprisingly, one of Paul Feltman Jr.'s losses came from Bob Ferrara. One of Paul, because Paul has two losses. Yeah. In Terrasante. By the way, you have these brackets in your email. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. In mm -hmm. flight A, so I jumped to flight B for that. But in flight A, Ramsey's Verlinden leads his flight with six wins, one loss. Six and one, okay. And there is a three-way tie in that flight as well for second. Bob Page is five and two. Mm -hmm. Tony Ferrara is five and two. And Craig Powers is five and two. Aha, uh -huh. so, and then if Tony Ferrara defeats uh, Paul Feltman Jr. No, remember I Oh, that was thing. another flight, okay, sorry. Oh, right, 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 right. But they each have two more games to play. I was thinking of Bob Ferrara. I know. <laughs> All right. In flight C, let's see what we have here. We have a two-way tie for first. Okay. Dan Kolak, which... We'll see him play after this. And Tony Din each have six wins, one loss. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Joe D'Amato has seven wins, zero losses. Nice. So Joe D'Amato and Tung Win are undefeated. Yeah, but I'm not there yet. So Joe D'Amato, we'll see him play... Danny Kolash after this, and Danny's in second place, and Joe's in first place. Ah, I see. Okay. So that's a good <laughs> match then. Yeah, it is. Um, in this Paul, uh, Paul Guarency's on a, a run right now. I think he's on a run of four or three. In flight D, 
Ertan, Ertan Tarhan has six wins, zero losses. So he's also undefeated. However, Paul Frankel mm, is undefeated <laughs> is as well. Undefeated with five wins, zero losses. Yeah, and but uh, and he's ahead in this match too um, against G George oh. Ede. 23 to 15. 15. So it's looking pretty good for Paul Frankel at 6 0 today. <laughs> My God. <laughs> He's like a boss over here. I know. So actually, one of the, the last matches that the last match that Paul Frankel has will be against Ertan Tarham. So that'll I'll take Paul. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It's like it's his I'll tournament. take Paul for the winner of this match, too. <laughs> and in flight E, Tung Win has six wins, zero losses. <laughs> yeah, Tung, Tung's undefeated, too. And second place in this flight, in that flight, is... Win. So how many undefeateds do we have? Because I like the old undefeated thing. Uh, three. Three, four, four. Tong. Tong. Paul Frankel. Paul Frankel. Ertan. Ertan Tarhan. And Joe Diamato. Four. Joe yeah. Diamato. But Joe's on got the heaviest win because he's at seven. Uh, he's just further along. He's just further along with seven wins. Yeah. And then we'll watch his final match after this with Danny Kolash, who's tied for second yeah. in that flight. i got to tell you, I'm thoroughly enjoying this match right here. This is, uh, this is good action here. Although I think it just messed the score up. Good. Scores 7-6. Uh, this is a good match. Like I, like uh, Geraldine had said, this, uh, this flight has a three-way tie for second. And these two players are part of that three-way tie for second place. And I believe... Pretty crucial match for both players here. We were talking to Alan yesterday. And his flight overall had the highest average. I'm sorry, who's? This flight that they're in. Oh, was the was the toughest and had the highest average. Uh huh. But let me verify that. Of what? Out of all the flights. Oh, okay. The whole that may flight not be average. true now. He's shaking his head, yes. Who is? Alan. Alan is? No, not anymore. Flight E has the highest average of, well, but I think they're less, they're not as far along uh, with their matches. Uh. But the overall average in that um, flight is 5-4-5. Five, five. And I see. this other one is 4-9, I believe, .49. Look at this shot. What a doozy. Thank you to Geraldine Thibodeau for that live update. Ha. 
I don't know. There's a, uh, you know, talk around town is that uh, this uh, Mr. Gancy has been playing for a year, but he plays. <laughs> he, he plays like uh, he's been playing for about a dozen. I mean, you know, all the power to him, like, for playing good. Uh, but I, I don't know. I think he must have been playing or watching this game in his youth <laughs> as well. I'd be curious to know what the guys in Dallas Fort Worth would say about uh, Paul. But the, what I like about this match is that I know Paul Feltman Jr. is capable. Um, he ran. Uh, do we know what the high run is so far for pre preliminaries? Paul Feltman's 10? Why doesn't it matter? No, they have one for the prelims too. $50. Yeah. It's 200 for the final and 50 for the prelims. So it's Paul Feltman Jr., huh? Okay. <laughs> Alan remembers vaguely. Ugh. Paul uh, strikes down two there. Or, uh, yep, two. And here comes Guernsey. Gancy, Gancy sounds like a sounds like a French Canadian kind of name, actually. I don't know, doesn't it, folks? Perfect. I think um, I think Paul Feltman knows his systems because he plays a lot of those shots very well, where you've got the target ball in the middle of the table, and uh, and and you know you can't just guess those shots as consistently as he does. He's able to like he comes around table straight at the target. You see that. And that's twice in a row. He's just like, uh, he, he just makes those shots look very simple. I really, very impressed with his, uh, you know, I mean, those, for most high scoring billiard players, those are basic shots that, uh, you know, you have a high percentage of making. And if you know your systems, uh, almost any player can make that shot. Run of three from Paul. Uh, from Feltman. Uh, 
Some people are just good at those shots, but I think... Runner four. Boy, he ain't kidding around, is he? Remember, Paul has the high run for this whole tournament so far. Preliminary rounds, 10 he ran. So I guess expectations are going to be high amongst uh, the spectators. Banking all the way through. Well, Paul's happy with it. Uh, I'm sure it puts a little pressure on on, on Guernsey. But I also know that uh, Feltman knows that uh, he's in. He's got his hands full, you know. So he's. Table two, Gina Kim, Craig Powers. He's putting in the effort. Table two. Is the mic on? Yeah, yeah. Well, if this is any indication to you that Feltman has no, no intention of losing, uh, this is it. I mean, he's he's coming to the table like he's not even behind, you know. Well, he was behind uh, uh, two innings ago, but he changed that. He's a player that shows very little, uh, very little pressure. That win, Barry Solomon. Now the pressure's on, on Guernsey. He has an opportunity. He can come three around off this white. He can play off the right or left side. I'd probably play the yeah the right side. It's good.
get Garancy stage, staging his own comeback with good position. Well, actually, uh, yeah. Hustler. He's going to play off the white. Or is he playing off the red? Yeah, I think he can play off the red. Thin off the red. Too thin. I think yeah, he was not even trying to do that. He was trying to get behind the white on that shot, not, not around the white. I think the match between, uh, mm, shoot. Hey, who won between Mickey and James? Mickey? James won? James Richards beats uh, Mickey Campbell. FYI. 25 to 23. This match is not over, folks. The, this is uh, this is a good. I told you guys this is gonna be a good match. We're gonna go back and forth. Any 5:20 p.m. players that are here, check in with me, please. Any players scheduled to play at 5:20? Check in with me. He's a little overextended here. He should be all right, though. He needed to play longer. That's not going to be good enough to catch up. Paul's looking at another bank shot. I've seen him play the banks really well, too. That's another indication of how well he plays systems. But, okay. He proved me wrong there, didn't he? <laughs> the, co the commentator's curse got him again. Put them on first before no. you turn it up. Oh. You turned it up. I'll be back, guys.
Paul Franco, Rudy Vigil, table number eight. Still got a long way to go here. I mean, uh, th this could swing back a few times. the kiss needs the speed and I don't think it's going to have it huh so is that a bad thing
That was very nice. At this point, uh, I'm, I may have to give this to Paul unless, I mean, to Feltman, unless Guarantee can do something to turn it around. Another nice shot. A nice double the rail. That's going to be perfect, too. Beautiful shot, Paul. And he's, I believe, is only three away now from finishing. Wow, what a firecracker. What a great shot. It missed. Whoa. Okay, Paul, um, I'm going to say this is your last chance unless you play unless you play a good defensive shot. Uh, I'm going to have to say last chance, my friend. Hello to you, HB man. It says, nice stream. Greetings from Germany. Greetings to you, too, and thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Guten Morgen. <laughs> That's Geraldine. She's been hitting the sauce a little early today. <laughs> it's not true. That's just the only thing I know in German. Oh, guten Morgen. Okay. <laughs> Paul Feldman, look at this beautiful player, man. He is, he has really improved. Uh, his consistency, I think, is, uh, is uh, he's brought his average up, I think. Yeah, he's playing really well. He's playing, he's playing very well. He let his dad win. This looks good, too. He needs one. Yes, that's true. He needs one. And uh, this is a drop-in shot, back and forth. Oh, my goodness. He hit this perfect. Almost perfect. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Very little time taken too. You know, he's 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 just playing and like like it's he's been playing since he was like this when he was a kid. Free stroking. He's got uh, Garancy on the ropes here. Now Garancy can't reach the shot, so he's going to play a bank instead. Everything on the line for him. He doesn't want to end up in in, uh, in the third place part of the bracket where he could possibly lose uh, altogether. Can you pass me the schedule, please? We might have to switch our last match. <coughs> We're a little early 
and neither Danny Kolash or Joe Diamato are here. Are ready? Okay. They're, they're not here. Yeah. And we're finishing a whole round early. That's a shame. I'd like to see that match, but okay. Can I see the Friday schedule, please? It's that one, yeah. Thank you. Guarantee he's coming thin off the yellow here. And uh, will he get there? He might get there. Four cushion. he gonna do now yeah he'll come long short and then long underneath the red yep fourth diamond Really? <laughs> little too a little well, he's going one rail direct, I guess. That's two that's two cushion billiards. Hi, Regina Solomon. Um, she wants to know the uh, score of her husband's match, Bert, playing uh, Dot Win. It's uh, it's it's still early in the game. It's four to five uh, to to Bert. Oh no, to Dot, I think. Yeah, um, Dot Win is up one point against uh, Bert Solomon. And uh, Guernsey is uh, really taking a stand here. I think I missed another point. Really uh, trying to make a comeback. Oh, did I miss? No, maybe I didn't miss a point. It's okay to move that rattle just a little. Well, I took my eye off the table, so I'm not sure what uh, Paul's actual score is. I'm going to leave it be until his run is over. Double the rail. Always nice to see this shot.
And that'll do it. You know what? Um, amazing effort from Paul Guernsey to uh, try to make a comeback, uh, but maybe a little too little too late. He had some chances earlier, um, but uh, you know, Paul Feltman, consistent, very consistent, coming in with those twos and threes, and I think he even came in with a four. Uh, you know, like, uh, Guernsey was just overpowered slightly. Um, and um, I'd like to see more of these guys play uh, against each other in the future. Uh, so maybe we will see something. Maybe we'll see uh, both these guys end up in the finals. Who knows? Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching. We've got another one coming up. It looks like it's going to be uh, Christopher O'Brien versus uh, Keith Alvarico. And that'll be the last singles match that we broadcast today. And then we're going to take... We're going to take a little break and we're going to start the doubles portion of this ev this uh, week's event, the uh, doubles championship. So I want to thank you guys again. You're all watching 3cushionusa.org's Karen B Championship, the amateur championship that they have every year. $5,000 added. This is day four of the preliminary rounds. We'll have another day of preliminaries tomorrow, right? Or is half a day of preliminaries tomorrow, which we kind of already have a schedule for, available on ProfessorCueBalls.com. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. I'll be right back, and we're going to start this match between Keith Alvarico and Christopher O'Brien.